these words are words that have ever come out of my mouth. Who are you gonna jerk off in this experiment? Aliens? An owl? Hell yes! <laughs> because it's been six seasons and you don't want it to get old, I like to do stuff that's like, oh, let's like give tribute to like shows that we were inspired by. So I loved Are You Afraid of the Dark? So I thought it'd be really fun to do Are You Afraid of the Drunk? So the first episode is called that, and uh, it's the story of Mary Shelley telling the creation of Frankenstein. And so it's, you know, I'm not one of the meta comedy guys, but I do think it's great because it's Rich Vulture around a campfire telling the story about a woman who's telling a story at a party, and then that's reenacted uh, on film. We did it on film uh, with Seth Rogen and Will Ferrell, and Evan Rachel Wood is the best actor, just oh, yeah. done. I don't pick favorites except for Evan Rachel Wood. <laughs> but yeah, just trying to find new ways of, uh, the premise can never change, but like evolving the show, like last year and this year, we, we did a drunk mystery episode where that Unsolved Mysteries is great. Because then you can, I find, like, do fun, crazy stories like that and then do Native Americans occupying Alcatraz and, you know, important stories. But you got to have fun stuff in there, too. You can't be too serious and you can't be too funny. Well, no matter who you are, if you are uh, a human being and have alcohol and a camera, you're going to try to be funny. It's the, hard, the only part of the job I don't like is the hour of someone trying to be funny. And as soon as that's over, then it's really fun. But you just remind, um, I make a promise to everyone, you'll never believe me that we have the story at the end of the night. And I promise I will never leave until we have the story. But no matter what, they still will call me and say, we didn't do the story. Yeah. <laughs> This is what alcohol does. <laughs> An ideal, uh, that's hard. But like Evan Rachel Wood does this thing that I don't know how to describe it except that she's playing a character that she's, you know, for this Mary Shelley, but she's also embodying the narrator. So she's like doing two things at the same time and uh, also just being an amazing actor. Uh, so being spot on and my theory for the show or my philosophy is good people who just so happen to be talented. That's all I want to be around. I, enough with the talented assholes. Bye-bye. Anyone that had a drinking problem? No, I don't play with that. The show's based on making you feel good, but I don't take for alcohol is a poison and I don't endorse it anyway. I endorse comedy and history. Uh, but anyone that has... Uh, a problem I would never hire uh, to do the show. But, uh, and anyone that's a dick. I mean, <laughs> seriously. That's a good I, I've been trying to do this for 19 years and like now being in this part of my life, like I'm allowed to say no to assholes. It's my favorite part of the job. Yeah. Don't be a dick. <laughs> Let's be nice to each other. They're, life's too short. So just, I'll say no to dicks. <laughs> I have my story, you amazing puppet shits.